Hi guys, and welcome to U Wrench. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to convert your standard engine oil dipstick into a transmission fluid dipstick for the Grand Caravan uh, 2008 through 2020. Also applies to the Chrysler Town Country in the same age range. You really don't need to waste your money buying a dedicated transmission fluid uh, dipstick. They are quite expensive, $25 plus. You really don't need to buy one. Uh, for this video, you can make one out of your standard oil dipstick. So let's do it. So take your standard engine oil dipstick, uh, pop that out, and just give that a good uh, wipe clean uh, before we uh, move on to the next stage. Okay, the location of the, uh, the dipstick uh, port for the transmission fluid. Uh, if you have a look down here, uh, you can just see uh, we've got a little uh, cap just down there and that is the plastic cap that sits on top of the tube and that is the tube uh, for your uh, transmission dipstick. So here's the uh, the cap removed, it does just screw into place as you can see it's actually got a thread on it so just unscrew it in the normal manner and that will pop off. So for a quick test uh, you can just insert your, uh, your standard dipstick into the transmission dipsticks, push down nice and gently and you'll feel when it gets to the end it's metal on metal. So don't force it any further than that and then when you draw it up uh, we'll obviously have some ATF on there I'm not going to worry too much about the levels uh, just for the second uh, but you can see there's some ATF fluid on there so next what we want to do is um, have a look at what the correct levels should be and we can actually mark this dipstick accordingly okay so we're going to put some marks onto this uh, dipstick uh, so that we can use this as a dual purpose uh, engine oil and transmission dipstick now, as we can see uh, this is the uh, the normal engine oil side of it you've got a little uh, marker for safe on there so we don't want to uh, interrupt that so what we're going to actually do is going to put some marks on the reverse side of it which will be for the transmission fluid so let's look at what the levels uh, should be uh, on this particular car so the marks that we're going to be putting on here are for the ideal uh, fill level for when the engine is both cold uh, and warm. Now for uh, cold, uh, for your reference, it should be somewhere between 5 millimeters and 15 millimeters. Uh, ideally you want to be kind of aiming for the 12, 13 millimeter. That would be your, your sweet spot. Uh, additionally, on the uh, on a warm engine, uh, this would be a, a car that's um, you know driven for an hour, not not been towing caravans, so not a super super warm engine, uh, but a nice normal fully warmed up engine. Uh, you'll be looking in the uh, 40 to 55 millimeter range. So your sweet spot's going to be uh, around 48 uh, millimeters. So on this, we're going to mark uh, 5 and 15 millimeters for cold, and additionally 40 and 55 uh, for your warm. There's my five, there's my 15, there's my 40, and 55. So we have our marks uh, on there, and obviously the ATF fluid might uh, eat, eat away at this permanent marker. So if you want to do something a little bit more permanent, you can get yourself a little file and just score in a couple of lines, just nice and gently. Uh, you can even do it with the Dremel tool. Obviously be very careful if you do that, you don't want to cut this in half. Uh, but if you want to put some more permanent marks on it, a uh, file's a good point to, uh, to start with. So as you can see, we've just scratched that in uh, gently uh, with a file there. They've come out quite well. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to give this a, another quick wipe over so we don't want to put any metal filings in to the, uh, into the port when we put this down. So make sure you give it a good clean now that you've done your filing. So now with the dipstick marked up, we can use this as a fully functioning transmission fluid dipstick for your Grand Caravan or Chrysler Town & Country. Uh, we're also doing a full um, transmission fluid and filter change video uh, for this particular car. Uh, so uh, if you want to check that out, we'll add a link for you below this video. Just scroll down to the info section directly below this video and there'll be a link there for you if you want to check that out. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you find this uh, video useful and we'll see you again in the future.